One of the uh, other things that we do in England, I don't, it, it's in quite a few cultures, but not all, is we have this idea that we should protect our children from the truth, that we, it's our job to kind of deal with all the difficulty and just tell them what they need to know and the, the, some, the outcome of it, rather than all the workings out that we've gone through. And it's a really, it comes from a really good place. It comes from wanting to be a responsible parent and a good parent and, uh, and look after our very little vulnerable children that we have quite strong feelings to protect. Um, but it totally doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work because uh, kids, although they may not have you know, sophisticated cognitive functioning, and they certainly don't when they're born, uh, they have incredibly keen ob observation skills. And they have that because they're born completely dependent and completely vulnerable. And they're dependent on one or two or a few people. And they get to know those people inside out and backwards. They read every mood that crosses your face. They are there. I mean, there's some beautiful studies. You know, the minute there there is an alarm or a, there's something to be frightened of, you know, they'll be staring at you and reading your face. How bad is it? And should I come? dashing back to you or is it safe to or should I free and there it's it's just basic survival skills in a, in a baby and toddler and young child and even adolescence to some degree um, so we may think we're hiding things from them but actually they're reading a whole bunch of stuff on our faces all the time and you see it I mean it's most awful with you know things like really bad illnesses in the family where you're trying to, to shield the children from it but they know something terrible is going on and they can see that every time you pick up the phone call you're anxious and you're waiting for news or that you close the door and they can hear you sobbing on the other side of it or all kinds of things that we think we're doing really really well and we're just not able to and even if we are doing it to so just a hundred percent perfectly they'll still read the micro expressions on our faces and then the problem is that if they know something bad has happened but we're not talking to them about it a they can't talk about it because they they've got the message from us that you're not supposed to talk about it and they're not quite sure what they should be talking about they just know something's wrong and b they uh they have great fantasies and imaginations, kids. They have all these kind of make up play fantasies in their heads and they'll make up what they think is wrong. And they'll usually come up with something much worse than the truth. And uh, it's one of the reasons why so many children feel like divorce was their fault. They, even though you've told them a million times it's nothing to do with you, it's just between mommy and daddy, they always end up feeling like it's there fault. So it's a really difficult one to balance because children do need to feel safe and we do need to protect them and look after them. But the way we do it, I think, is slightly different than we have traditionally done it and needs a more communication and kind of age appropriate explanations for what it is that's going on. And uh, and I also really think that, you know, it takes us a long time to get used to the idea that we're going to put a family together or live with stepchildren or move house or whatever it is that's going to be the big change. And uh, it's only fair to give them the same amount of time to get used to that as well. And the less time they have, the more uh, condensed the feelings will be about it. If you've got a year, um, no one has a year, if you've got six months to think about it, you have six months to have all of those feelings. If you tell them three weeks before, they've got three weeks to have all the feelings and you're going to have a really horrible three weeks because they'll all come out in one go. Or not, and then they'll come out after you've moved together and cause trouble.